got Jared demonstrating today. Um, so first of all, Jared is just going to step underneath the bar and his hand grip is going to be just a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? Okay, so next we're going to talk about foot placement. Your foot placement for the high bar squat is just a little bit wider than hip width and with your toes slightly pointed out. As Jared's shown, obviously this can vary depending on mobility as well. So use as well which one works comfortable for you and your body. Okay, so with your high bar, as we've said, make sure you're comfortable underneath that bar as Jared is showing. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. Feet a little bit wider than hip width with your toes turned out. Jared's just going to perform a couple for us just so we can talk through it. You want that chest lifted, eye gaze forward. Brace your core, but as you're bracing your core, you want to breathe in on the way down and breathe out when you get to the top. Bracing that core, really, really fill that belly with air, control that movement. And as your other squat we've shown with a basic squat, you want to push through your whole foot, make sure those heels do not lift. Leading on from that, we're just going to talk about things to avoid in this exercise. Um, one of them is obviously making sure those heels don't lift off the floor. Um, so when Jerry performs the exercise, you'll see that his heels stay firmly on the floor, keep you grounded and control that exercise. Okay, we don't want that back grounding either, so make sure that spine is nice and neutral. We don't want to arch it over or around it. That's it, so you'll see Jerry's spine is nice and neutral and comfortable. From here, what you don't want to do is cave in those knees. So as you see, while he's squatting, it's nice and comfortable for him, so those knees are not going inwards. Brilliant, nice and strong. And from here, the last one, this is mainly for any medical purposes, any high blood pressure, anything like that. We always recommend to go see a doctor. We don't want anyone holding their breath throughout an exercise and make sure you're comfortable with the tempo of the exercise. So next, we're gonna talk about progressions of this exercise. So the first progression you can do is looking at the tempo. So the first tempo we're going to look at is a three to one tempo. Jared's just going to demonstrate this. So it's looking at control three seconds down and then up for one. That's it on the way down when you're controlling it, still pushing through the whole of that foot, controlling the heel and firing up. From here, we're then going to look at paused squats. So with your paused squats, you're looking at pausing it at the bottom, controlling it and really focusing and controlling it back up. With this one, this will then allow you to really focus on the control of that movement, build up the momentum and get up to lifting a little bit more weight. So we always recommend doing these exercises before adding more weight on. So from there, leading on from our regressions. So regressions is to make it a little bit easier for you if you're not ready or you're a complete beginner. So from here, you can actually look at our first video and you can add in a box. You will still perform the exercise the exact same way. The only difference is you have something behind you just to Give that little bit of support if you're not comfortable holding that weight at the bottom. A second one is the same as we're doing in this video is just using the bar. Get comfortable with that bar first before you add any extra weight on. And the third one is refer back to a body weight squat with no bar. Okay, so you would put the bar back and just do a body weight squat.